Okay, so here's the second video. We're going to be using the same exact uh, um, problem. So there were the first video we did the first two questions on that on that quiz, and so this will be the third question. So the first uh, we talked about the difference between finding a, um, the answer directly and indirectly. So the, the the easiest questions are the ones where you find it directly from a basic theorem or um, or definition. So the, the first thing we found was uh, using the inscribed angle theorem, the uh, the arc that it cuts off is going to be twice as big as the angle. So we found a measure of ED and that was 100 degrees. And then for the second one, it was to find the measure of arc CD. And that one was more complex because we didn't have, you know, an angle measure that was directly associated with. So there's this is the angle that cuts off that arc, and we don't know this angle measure. But we did know this because we figured that out. We looked, well, let me stop for a moment. Remember, these are the things that we talked about the other day that you want to keep in mind. Oh, not the other day, the last video. Circle, 360 degrees. Semicircle, 180. It, whenever you have a diameter, you know you have a semicircle. The inscribed angles, okay, we know the relationship between the two. Um, this is twice as big as the inscribed angle, or the inscribed angle is half as big as the arc. And then the angle addition, I mean the arc addition postulate, and the quadrilater quadrilateral, inscribed quadrilateral theorem. So I'm going to go through this one a little quicker. So we got, from the last one, we got CD. We used the whole, this whole semicircle was 180 and we know that 100 plus whatever goes here has to be equal to that by the arc addition postulate so that's 180 that's 100 that makes this 80. now so that's the first question second question third question now the second the third question is going to be what's the measure of angle c e d so in order to find this we need that arc that's what it comes down to the relationship between the inscribed because that's an inscribed angle so if we can find the measure of the arc that it's associated with we should be able to use one of these two relationships to figure it out so if we take the inscribed angle and multiply by two we get the the intercepted arc now we can't use this because we don't have the inscribed angle however if we take the intercepted arc and multiply it by one half we get the inscribed angle. So this is the one we're going to use right here. Now, um, we got 80 degrees for that arc measure. The angle that that is associated with is this one right here. So that's an inscribed angle. So the relationship to find that out, we got inscribed angle equals one half times intercepted arc. Which one do we know? We know the intercepted arc. One half times 80, the measure of our inscribed angle, which is CED. So one half of 80. 40, the measure angle C, E, D is 40. And that's the end of that video.